Hey guys, Ray here. The Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus has been released for more than three months now. Back in a while ago, Samsung did add a dedicated night mode to the phone. But for the entire time, it was actually limited to the main camera, which was kind of a shame there's no way for us to shoot low-light photography with night mode with the ultra-wide angle lens. But not anymore. After the latest update, we can finally shoot low-light photos with the night mode with the ultra-wide angle lens. And the image quality boost is huge. Like how? Alright, so today's video is going to be divided into two parts. The first half is going to be main camera focused, comparing the image quality with and without low light night mode. And then the second half is going to be auto right angle lens centric. We'll also compare image quality between night mode and auto mode. And finally, today's video is going to be night photography centric only. That, as we can all see here, the difference between night mode and auto mode before the sun's set is actually really close. If you can tell the difference in terms of the level of detail, sharpness, color reproduction and dynamic range, that's gonna be your imagination. But then for these kind of scenes, when the dynamic range is really high, like on the National Gallery here, the highlights on the one taken in auto mode is actually a little bit overexposed. But then on the one taken with night mode, everything's well exposed. We can identify the small details on the column, but then of course you can't on the one taken with auto mode. The same thing has happened again on this set of photos. We can clearly tell the dynamic range on the one taken with night mode is significantly higher, that we can clearly identify all the detail on the monitor, as well as all the lighting behind the screen. But then everything's just overexposed on the one taken in auto mode. Sharpness is also a tiny bit higher on the one taken with night mode. But then for this set of photos, we can also see the dynamic range is significantly higher on the one taken with night mode. The bridge, I mean the one for the train, we can clearly see that there's a really dark green color on the bridge on the one taken with night mode, but then everything's just pitch black on the one taken in auto mode. The details on the shadows also significantly richer on the one taken with night mode. Basically, every time there's a high contrast in the scene, we can clearly tell that the dynamic range on the one taken with night mode is significantly better than that on the auto mode. The red was better captured on the one taken in night mode, so was the green. Basically, the green was black on the one taken in auto mode. And then when we zoom into the detail, we can also see a higher sharpness on the one taken in night mode. For this particular set of photos, the boost in brightness in terms of low light photography wasn't that great but then the dynamic range is a significant boost. All the lights and the layer of the colors, all the detail is way more superior on the one taken in night mode. The highlights were simply overexposed on the one taken in auto mode. Again, for low light night photography for city lights, basically night mode can boost the dynamic range by a significant margin. All of the buildings, all of the lightings were well exposed on the one taken in night mode. On the contrary, all of the highlights were slightly overexposed on the one taken in auto mode. The level of details might be similar, but then the dynamic range and color reproduction sharpness is much better on the one taken in night mode. The difference in image quality between night mode and auto mode has become even more significant when the lighting conditions has become even more extreme. Not only has the night mode boosted brightness of the shadows, but then the sharpness and dynamic range of the entire image as well, as well as noise reduction. For this particular set of photos, we can even see the cloud layer on the one taken in night mode. But then, on the one taken in auto mode, everything were a little bit smoother. Yeah, smoother, especially when it comes to the architecture there. We can definitely tell the sharpness and detail is way more superior on the one taken in night mode. For this particular set of photos, actually both of the images were brighter than it actually was. But then the night mode has just further boosted sharpness and color saturation, also brightness of the entire image, especially when it comes to details in the shadows, especially the words, and also like the sculpture as well. The difference in terms of color saturation, dynamic range, brightness of the shadows, noise reduction, and the overall sharpness of the image have become even more significant when it comes to extremely challenging low light scenes. The background, I mean the shadows, was basically completely black on the one taken in auto mode, but then we can clearly tell all of the detail, I mean part of the detail in the shadows on the one taken in night mode. And also the sharpness of the entire image was much better. 
all the way to these kind of extremely dark environment. Basically, the night mode has just brought us way more detail on the shadows, but at the same time maintained a better exposure on the highlights. The sharpness has also seen a huge boost. And finally, for this set of photos, wow, the difference is huge. The tree leaves were basically black on the one taken in auto mode, and then the entire image was also a tiny bit of underexposed. We can clearly tell noise reduction, color reproduction, brightness, and sharpness of the image is much better on the one taken in night mode. Alright, here we've come to the second part of the video. The result was actually really similar to that on the main camera. The tender brought daylight or even low light scenarios with arguably adequate lightings. The difference in terms of color saturation, dynamic range, sharpness, and noise reduction of the entire image were actually really similar between the night mode and auto mode. But then again, once we've come to scenes with high contrast ratio, the night mode has just simply boosted dynamic range on the image a lot. It also boosted sharpness of the entire image by a huge margin, way more significant than that on the main camera. It sort of solved the problem of um, soft images on the old white angle lens in night scenarios before the update. Yeah, we can clearly identify all of the detail on the columns on the one taken in night mode, but then in auto mode, everything's just blurry. And speaking of dynamic range, the same things happened again here on this set of photos. We can clearly identify the colors and all of the details around the display and the lightings here on the one taken in night mode, but then we can't on the one taken in auto mode. When we've come to scenes with even more challenging lighting conditions, we can clearly tell the night mode has given the S10 Plus the potential to capture way more details in the shadows. Like, we can even identify the cloud layer on the one taken in night mode, but then everything's just way smoother on the one taken in auto mode. Including the building, we can definitely see it's much sharper on the one taken in night mode. So basically for the ultra wide angle lens, I can tell that the night mode can actually boost sharpness, color saturation, detail reproduction, color reproduction, and the sharpness of the entire image. The dynamic range as well, of course and the margins even more significant than that on the main camera. It has dramatically increased the image quality on the ultra wide angle lens in low light night scenarios, from barely usable, really soft images to images with high dynamic range and high sharpness, which is really usable now. Yeah, for this set of photos, we can actually see that the highlights is much more well exposed on the one taken in night mode again, and then everything on the highlights in auto mode has just been overexposed. And when we've come to low light scenes with even more challenging lighting condition, for example like this set of photos, we can definitely see way more sharpness and details on the one taken in night mode. Everything's like way softer, smoother, and the lack of detail in the shadows, as well as actually the entire image on the one taken in auto mode, is kind of disappointing, but then it's now fixed with the night mode. The night mode here on the S10 Plus is not like that on the Huawei P30 Pro or like Google Pixel 3 XL, that can actually capture the night like it was in the sun. The night is still the night here on the S10 Plus, but then the entire image is like way sharper, with more punchy colors, more sharpness, and better noise reduction to the entire image. The dynamic range has also been significantly boosted that the shadows is now much brighter now, while at the same time, the highlights are much more well exposed, no overexposure at all. And you guys can expect the difference between night mode and auto mode will become even more significant as the lighting condition has become even more challenging. The night mode can help boost color saturation, brightness of the entire image, and better dynamic range, better noise reduction, better sharpness, and better detail and texture reproduction. The image quality difference between the night mode and auto mode is just dramatic. If the lack of night mode for the ultra wide angle lens or the underperforming low light performance of the S10 Plus in general in the past has bothered you, not anymore, is now like on par with other mainstream flagship like the P30 Pro and Pixel 3 XL in some ways. 
So it's the end of today's video about the latest night mode for the S10 Plus. Hope you all enjoyed watching this comparison. Like it if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe. There will be videos like this coming up soon. So stay tuned and get subscribed. See you next time. What I can do.